hello guys welcome back to my channel today we have this one's called this video is called usa military power in 2023 how powerful is the u.s military i've seen some videos and it's quite impressive and with a budget of 850 billion i think per year is that hold on is that per year like do they spend all of that in one year because I didn't check that. I just saw like 850 billion, I think, dollars. All right, before we start, don't forget to leave a like, comment on what you want to see next, and please subscribe to the channel for more content. Let's get into it. In the year 2023, what kind of shape will the military power of the United States be in? Will the armed forces of this country continue to be at the forefront of innovation, both in terms of technology and modern weaponry and their global presence? How will new threats and shifting geopolitical dynamics affect the military capability of the United States of America? When you think of military power, what comes to mind? Do you believe the United States military is currently the most powerful in the world? I mean, do you even have to state it? Today we will talk about USA military power in 2023. It is common knowledge that the armed forces of the United States of America are among the most powerful and technologically advanced in the world. This are they among the most powerful and most advanced or are they the most powerful and the most advanced? This reputation is likely to be justified in 2023 as the military of this country will have continued to innovate and update its capabilities in order to keep one step ahead of new security challenges. The United States military is still the most powerful military in the world due to its broad global presence and technologically advanced weaponry. Current State of the United States Military Power The United States of America possesses, at this time and according to the findings of the Global Firepower Index, the most powerful military in the world. This places them ahead of Russia, China, and other key global powers. The evaluation conducted by the GFP takes a number of different considerations into account, some of which are defense spending, available manpower, and available armament. That's an intriguing fact. The Global Firepower Index is a ranking system that is generally known that evaluates the military power of countries all over the world based on criteria such as the amount of money spent on defense, the number of armed personnel, and the amount of available weaponry. It is a remarkable... I don't think that the personal count as much as the weaponry because the last video I've reacted about India versus USA, like India had more people in the army, but still US was way, way, way more beyond. Well, accomplishment for the United States of America that in 2023, out of the 145 countries that were examined for the GFP assessment, they were ranked as the number one military power. This ranking emphasizes the country's tremendous military capabilities and underlines the country's sustained supremacy in the global military landscape. Yet, it is crucial to remember that military strength is not entirely determined by rankings and indices, and that a wide range of other... I'm like, I still like, I still wonder how they are able to get all of these images. And like, you see some soldiers, like their faces are uncovered. Doesn't that, doesn't that affect their security and their family security? Let's say like you have to go undercover and like your, your face is on the internet. How does that work? Other elements, including diplomacy and international alliances, also play a critical role in playing a significant part in influencing world affairs. Superior technical capabilities. The technological prowess of the United States military is recognized as one of its primary advantages. The United States of America has made significant investments in cutting-edge technologies like stealth aircraft, drones, and precision-guided missiles. With nearly 300 vessels at its disposal, including 11 aircraft carriers, this nation possesses the most powerful navy in the world. The United States Air Force possesses the largest fleet of modern fighter jets, including the F-22 and the F-35, and is an I still gotta do videos about the F-20 and the F-25 because like I keep seeing them also on B-13, B something, but I don't know what they really do. I know like they can hold missiles, but I don't know what, why like are they always important in those videos. Like they're all like, they always show you those. Is in the process of building a stealth bomber called the B-21 Raider. In addition, 
The United States of America possesses a wide variety of cutting-edge missile defense systems, one of which is called the Aegis Ballistic Missile Defense System. Also, the military of this country places a significant emphasis on cyber capabilities and is making significant investments in areas such as artificial intelligence and machine learning in order to strengthen both its defense. Seriously, I don't like that. Like, as long as humans, like humans, we have emotions sometimes. It's difficult to control our emotions, but we still have that thing that tells us this is not right. You do this, think about what is going to come after that. But like AI doesn't have that. They don't have that self, how do, it, how do we call it, In, introspection? I don't know how. Like AI, you give them a command and that's it. Like a human, he can be given a command. Let's say somebody tells you, to launch a nuclear weapon, you're going to hesitate and wait until confirmation, things like that. But for, a, for an AI, there's nothing like that. So I don't like that the AIs are being made to be responsible for uh, arms and defensive and defensive capabilities in cyberspace. Budget. The defense budget of the United States of America, which comes in at around $797 billion. Hold on. This video is saying 797 billion. The other video that I've reacted to said 850 billion. That's a huge gap. That's what? That 53 billion of difference? That doesn't sound right. Please let me know which one's correct, because unless they're just making up those numbers. Dollars is by far the largest in the entire globe. Because of this funding, the United States of America is able to keep a huge military force that is well-trained and invest in cutting-edge technologies. Nonetheless, there may be a reduction in the country's capability to keep its current level of military force if budgetary restrictions continue. The country's capacity to invest in cutting-edge technologies and keep a major military presence around the world may be negatively impacted if the budget were to be decreased which would be the result of shifting political objectives and economic considerations. Global Presence With approximately 1.3 million active duty personnel stationed in various locations across the globe, the United States military keeps a significant presence around the world. The nation maintains military installations in over 100 different nations. With a Damn. 100 countries. Damn, U.S. Special emphasis on conflict zones including the Middle East, Eastern Europe, and South Korea. The United States is able to project its military might and influence around the world thanks to its worldwide presence, which also enables them to support its allies and respond to newly developing threats. Dangerous Ambient Conditions In 2023, the United States military will face a variety of challenges including those that are traditionally posed by states and those that are newer in nature, such as those posed by cyber attacks and terrorism. In order to counteract new dangers and keep its military superiority, the nation's armed forces need to be watchful and flexible in the face of these challenges. They need also make investments in innovative technology and defense techniques. Future Trajectory Although the military of the United States of America continues to maintain its status as the most powerful in the world, the path that it will take in the future could be altered by a number of different variables. One of these factors is the development of innovative technologies, such as hypersonic missiles and quantum computing, which have the potential to tip... If I'm not mistaken, when they said hypersonic means very, very fast, right? ...the scales of power in the current configuration of the world's armed forces. In addition... The United States' ability to sustain its current level of military might could be hindered by financial restrictions as well as by shifting patterns of geopolitical interaction. In order to keep its military superiority, the country's armed forces need to keep their ability to be flexible and adaptable in the face of these difficulties. They need also to invest in new technology and methods. Supply Chain Management and Logistics in order for a military operation to be successful, efficient logistics and supply chains are absolutely necessary. The military of the United States is not an exception to this rule. To ensure that troops and equipment can be transferred rapidly and effectively in 2023, the country's military logistics and supply chain capabilities have reached a very advanced stage. 
These capabilities make use of cutting-edge technologies and highly trained professionals to accomplish their goals. When it comes to supporting logistics and supply chain activities, the deployment of autonomous vehicles and drones will be one of the primary areas of concentration for the United States military in the year 2023. The adoption of these technologies will ultimately result in an increase in the country's military might as they make it possible to accomplish more with less effort, hence lowering the likelihood of making mistakes due to human error. I will still take human mistake and error before I take AI. Let me know down, down below in the comment, what do you think about AIs? Do you trust AIs? Because also like you have to understand like the AIs, like the one who programmed them has the control. Capabilities in the area. Unless they evolve and start thinking by themselves. Because after all, like they're called AI. Is of intelligence and surveillance. In what ways do you think advanced intelligence and surveillance capabilities give the United States military an advantage on the battlefield? Do you think there are any ethical concerns surrounding the use of these technologies? I definitely do think. On the battlefield, the United States military enjoys a considerable edge because of its robust intelligence and surveillance capabilities, which are largely recognized as being among the best in the world. Going to the gym, I'll be there soon. World. The nation continues to commit a significant amount of money to develop these capacities in 2023, making use of cutting-edge technologies such as satellite imaging, unmanned aerial vehicles, and complex computer systems in order to collect and examine data. The use of artificial intelligence and machine learning to improve the United States military's intelligence and surveillance capabilities will be a specific area of emphasis for the military of the United States in the year 2023. I still think that we need more humans in the military than any other machine. I don't trust machines. Maybe I'm paranoid, but I don't trust machines. With humans, I know we can be stupid sometimes. We can do stupid things, but still, like, with when you're dealing with a human, you know what you're dealing with. But when you're dealing with a machine, a friend, or something else. These technologies make it possible to perform analyses of data that are both more accurate and up-to-date, which, in the end, gives military leaders the information they need to make decisions that are more informed. Personnel composition and training of the armed forces. The size of a country's armed forces, as well as the level of training they receive, can have a substantial influence on the might of that country's armed forces. And the United States military is well known for its huge and highly trained force. In the year 2023, the nation will continue to place a high priority on training and development, with the primary goal of making certain that members of the armed forces have the information. But now, let, let me not go there. Let me not... Go there. I don't want my channel to get banned. ...and expertise they require to be successful on the battlefield. It is estimated that there are around 1.3 million active duty troops, 800,000 reserve troops, and 750,000 civilian personnel serving in the United States military, making it one of the largest in the world. Due to the strength of the country's armed forces, as well as the modern weaponry and technology that they possess, this military is considered to be among the most fearsome in the entire world. In addition, it is not among, it is the most. Don't be modest, that's false modesty. It is the most, not among the most. The military of the United States keeps a presence in various countries all over the world through a network of military bases and deployments, which is another evidence of the country's military prowess and worldwide reach. Have you ever used virtual or augmented reality technologies for training or education? How do you think these technologies could be utilized to enhance military training and readiness? In 2023, the United States military is placing a large emphasis on the utilization of virtual and augmented reality technology to better its training programs. These technologies include mixed reality and virtual reality. These cutting-edge technologies give military troops the opportunity to participate in training that is both extremely realistic and immersive. As a result, they are better able to prepare themselves for a wider variety of possible scenarios. It is anticipated that the application of these technologies will, in the end, result in an increase in the military power and readiness of the country. What do you think of our video? Let me know in the comment section below. 
If you enjoyed this video and want to hear from me again, be sure to hit that subscribe button before you go. We got you, buddy. All right. Long enough, I'm trying, I'm going to cut it here, but before you leave, if you're still here, please, like, let me know. What do you think about AI, like AI having control of what? Arms, like armament, especially like when you have things like nuclear weapons and things like that. I don't think an AI is... I don't think it is safe to let an AI be in control of that. But before you leave, still, if you're still here, please don't forget to like the video. Do like the video. Please do like the video. That's what YouTube uses to launch your video so more people can see it. And comment on what you want to see next. And if I've made some mistakes or maybe if you disagree with me when it comes to AI, let me know in the comments down below. Until next time. And subscribe to the channel.